So let's look at the following sample problem. Okay, so here's where we're putting stuff to real life situations. Carbon dioxide that is produced by astronauts can be removed with lithium hydroxide. The reaction produces lithium carbonate and water. An astronaut produces an average of 1.00 times 10 to the power of three grams of carbon dioxide each day. What mass of lithium hydroxide should engineers put on board a spacecraft per astronaut for each day? So that's what we're trying to find. And it seems like this really big thing. But what, what, according to the steps, what is the first thing you're always supposed to do? The equation, the, uh, you know, so you need to know all the formulas. So the reaction is as follows. Carbon dioxide produced by the astronauts, right? We need to put in lithium hydroxide. What's it gonna produce? Lithium carbonate and water. But of this information, what's given? So we know we have 1.00 times 10 to the power of three grams of carbon dioxide, right? We're being asked for what mass, so we want to find X grams of lithium hydroxide, which means, do I need these? No, I don't need these in my, but I need them there because I need to balance my equation, yes. Right? So to balance it, it's already, well, it's not already balanced. You put a two in front of the lithium hydroxide. Okay, so what are the two things that we need in our list? So we start off with our list. So what am I gonna list first? Lithium hydroxide, because it's the one of my unknown, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to still use moles, and we're still gonna use molecules. Okay, and I'll show you guys where the catch kinda lies. Uh, Figured it out. Carbon dioxide. How many moles? Can we get that? Are we given that? No. It's something we're going to need to calculate. But let's go, let's fill in the rest of the chart. How many molecules of lithium hydroxide? Two. How many molecules of carbon dioxide? One. So the ratio is two to one. Okay. But now, how can I find the number of moles? Exactly, I gotta find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So using the pyramid, molar mass, mass, number of moles. I wanna find the number of moles. So I'm gonna take my mass, okay, I'm gonna take my mass, which is 1.00 times 10 to the power of three grams, and I'm gonna divide it by the molar mass of carbon dioxide. What is the molar mass of carbon dioxide? 44.0 okay, grams per mole. So grams cancel out and I'm left with how many moles? 22.7 moles. So now just like we've done before. We treat this as our equal sign, okay? And we have X over the number of moles of carbon dioxide, which is 22.7, equals a ratio of two to one. And all we do is bring this 2.27. We isolate for X and we're left with X is equal to 22.7 times 2 over 1. So when we multiply those two and divide it by 1, which is going to be redundant to do, what do we get? Um, what is it? 45.4? 45.4. And what does that represent? See, by not putting the units, now we got to figure out moles of moles of lithium hydroxide. Now, is that what the question is asking? No. No. Exactly. It's asking you for hot what? No. The grams. The grams. The oh. mass. So we're trying to find this. We are given 
that. So what do we need to find? The molar mass. So find the molar mass, and what are we going to do with that? Multiply it. We're going to multiply it, okay? So we're going to multiply 45.4 moles times the molar mass of lithium hydroxide. What was the molar mass of uh, lithium hydroxide? 23.9 grams per mole. So moles cancel out. Okay, when I multiply those two together, what is the mass? And it's in scientific notation, 1.09 times 10 to the power of three grams of lithium hydroxide. That's the answer. That's the answer.